guys are so I've just learned so much listening to these ladies. Are they amazing or what? Yeah. But I'm a technical idiot and proud of it. I learned to take pride in the things I believe I will never be exceptional at, but I'm always in there kicking. Anybody else agree with me that sometimes this stuff can be intimidating? Yeah. But here's what I think they're saying. Put yourself in someone's shoes. There's prospecting when you're calling people, talking to them. What they're talking a lot about is marketing. They're marketing, they're putting it out there, they're letting people see their lives, and when people contact them, then they prospect them. Then they, the, the person's coming at them that's a position of strength. Or they give an opening where Amber prospects. So they're talking about marketing out to people. That's why nobody goes to They're saying, don't spam. I hate. And before we came up on stage, I didn't get prospected for business. I got prospected, I think, for marriage. Was that a marriage proposal? Or they just want to like, meet me in a dark alley. So annoying things can happen. But I think. <coughs> How many people have heard the saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know? That's not true. It's not what you know and it's not who you know, it's who knows you, and more importantly, what they know you for. And what these ladies are telling you is that Facebook gives you an opportunity to be known for your very best if you behave at your very best and show people your very best in your online image. And your very best is the real you. I love what she said. It's hard for me to come up here because so many of these women are like Vogue models and that's never gonna be me. So I love that they'll be on Facebook in their sweatpants and their t-shirts because that's real people. So let people see the real you, let them see the best you and they'll wanna be with you. And I've had a lot of experience with that. People reach out to me on Facebook from all over the world I answer, Eric and I laughed about this, I answer every single private message that comes to me with, on my fan page and on my profile, except for the crazy people like backstage. They get to leave that I got backstage. Because my mother told me that if somebody writes you, you write back. If somebody says thank you, you say you're welcome. If, if, when I was brought up in network marketing, if you were a leader, you were the first one in the room, the last one to leave, you set the chairs and you helped the people put the chairs away. Yep. And if you behave that way, you're gonna do great business. Yep. If you behave that way, you're gonna do great business. And what I love most about this event is all of the women that I have seen are here to serve and just go serve. Yep. Let people see that you're serving and they'll come to do business with you. Yes. Wherever you are. Excellent. Well said. Now let me tell you something. I'm going to give you a piece of my secret sauce. My secret sauce. You want to know why network marketing pros become what it's become? You want to know why the different things, why you get the big followers on Facebook, and why you get all the views, and why you get all that stuff? You want to know why? It's something that you can become. You know what I am? I'm a professional encourager. That's what I am. That's what I am online. If you, if, if you see anything I do on Periscope, it's always about encouragement. You can do this. You can make it happen. I've actually done encouragement live, encouragement calls. Who should I call that needs some encouragement? And I get on the phone, and I give them a call, and I just say, hey, you can do this. I hear you might be having a challenging day. I hear you might be having a struggle. So think about, on Facebook particularly, every single person that comes into your Facebook universe, can you encourage them? Whatever it is that they're doing. If they're a mom and they're having a tough day, can you send them a word of encouragement in a, in a comment? Can you like something that gives them a little bit of encouragement? Can you share something that gives them a little bit of encouragement? But when you private message them and say, you know, look, you got this, sister. You can make this happen. You're powerful. You're unbelievable. You're spectacular. I see it in you. Okay? Send that message to a person. And you instantly have a relationship. Because that person goes, thank you. Finally, somebody noticed me. Finally, somebody validated me. Finally, somebody gave me a little bit of hope. What is it that you do again? Tell me one more time. I think I've seen some of the stuff that you do, but I could use a little bit more of this encouragement stuff. So if you become a professional encourager, 
That's what I do on the fan page all day. That's what I do on Network Marketing Pro all day. Sometimes the encouragement's wrapped in training. Sometimes it's wrapped in stories. Sometimes it's wrapped in ideas. Sometimes it's wrapped in pride of our profession. But what is that pride in our profession? Is it, what is it at its core? Encouragement that you made the right decision, that you're involved in the right profession. That's the secret sauce. You want to know how to become wildly influential, have people messaging message you all day, saying, if I had a chance to work with you, I feel so much better about myself. I feel more hopeful. You know, people do business with people they like. People do business with people they trust. That's why Lisa has people reaching out to her from all over the world every single day because they trust her. You know, and, and she gives so much when she connects with somebody that they like her. But if in addition to trust and like, you give people encouragement when they're not getting it anywhere. Maybe their spouse isn't giving it to them. Maybe their parents never did. Maybe they have mean friends at work. You know? That's why a lot of people join. Go ahead. You know, we can practice doing that every day of our life, even if it's not online. Uh, two weeks ago, my husband and I were at a Michael Fronte concert. Does anybody like him? Yeah. And I saw this girl. She's about probably 16 years old, and she was stunning. One of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen. And I couldn't stop looking at her. And finally, I tapped her mother on the shoulder and I said, is that your daughter? And she said, yeah. I said, I just want to tell you how gorgeous she is. No agenda. Just because I thought, so if we can speak our truth, I've been hearing all weekend about people, why we're all up here to serve other people and make people feel happy. If we can remember that whether it's online or whether it's offline, to speak what we're feeling from our heart with no agenda out there at all to grow our business, like what you were saying yesterday, when you give, it comes back to you. My message all the time is you can do this. I'm proud of you. Uh, I'm proud to be your friend. And you can do more. There's more in you. There's way more than you even see. It's, it's limitless. And you should reach for it. Whatever it is that you're doing, you should reach for it because the world needs you. That's my message to everyone. Every, every time I run into somebody, and when they hear that message, they just go, hmm, that guy, I can't get this person. <laughs> Let's do it together. You know what I'm saying? Can, so can I give one little tiny yeah. tip that everybody can do? You guys all have Facebook profiles, right, that you, people friend you and your friends with. You notice at the bottom of the little screen, it tells you every day whose birthday it is? Yeah. Wish them a happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. How good does it feel when you get a zillion messages on your birthday from people that you don't even know? And I would say, do this. Wish them a happy birthday, but go beyond that and encourage them. Go beyond it and challenge them in a nice way. You know, letting them know that, they're, that, 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 that the world needs them to you know, take their game to another level. You know what I mean? If they know you care, people in my world know that I care, so I can tell them, stop, stop playing small. Stop it. You need to knock it off. My friend Ivan Sisko is his 40th birthday. And uh, his wife, Elena, asked me to, to make him a, a birthday video, so I did. And I said, happy birthday, man, I miss you. You know, I hope it's a great celebration. Now, all that stuff's over. You need to stop playing small. <laughs> Come on, man, the next 20 years is, is gonna be your prime. This is when you leave your legacy. This is when you leave your mark. This is not the time to go sit on the boat. This is the time for you to go change the world. You got it in you, make it happen. That's what I believe about I am. Okay? So go beyond it. Instead of saying, hey, happy birthday. With their scroll, scroll, scroll. Have your message be the one they print out. And they go, yes, I believe this about myself. You know, you're going to have a different relationship with that kind of person. Yeah. I was just going to say that he's so right. Because when I first got started in network marketing, I heard about this guy in Texas. His name he passed away was Bill Britt. And he was a very famous networker with a relatively famous company. And I got his phone number because I didn't really understand. People were like, you're going to call him? I'm like, well, yeah. So I called him up and I asked him some questions. And I said, I don't get it. How can people get that excited about soap? And he said, they're not excited about soap. He said, I'll give you a couple of things to think about. And he said, the last time 95% of people ever had somebody clap for them was when they graduated from high school. 
that has stuck with me for a 30 year career. Because we celebrate people. Network marketing gives people the opportunity to go not where they're tolerated, which is what it's like out there, but to come where they're celebrated. So celebrate people, and that's what Eric's talking about. And the second thing that impacted me about that was I was never gonna join the soap company. Bill Brook was a legend, he didn't know who I was, and I'd been in three months, and he took my phone call and he answered my questions. And I have always been attracted to leaders like that in the space, the top, top people. And you know what happens when you call them and you ask for help? If you, they take your phone calls and they answer your questions. And that's the person you have to be. And if you're that person, it will all happen for you. I'm all about encouragement with no agenda. If people are graduating, like when I started my company, a lot of people my age are graduating from college and they're starting these huge careers. Cheer them on. You know, cheer on that person who just opened up their new gym. Cheer on that person who just had the baby. Exactly, with no agenda. You should honestly want everybody to have joy in their life. You should. And if you don't, then you need to look inside. Honestly. Cheer on everyone. Cheer on the haters. And so that's what I started to do. Because they just don't understand. And I heard that these chicks were talking about me, right? And I went on her page and I said, congratulations on your new job, I'm so proud of you. And that's what you need to do. And honestly, I don't care what she thinks about me, but what I am trying to get across to you right now is if there is haters, instead of stirring the pot, love on them, love on them but then focus on the people who need you, okay? That's what I want to say. My whole mission is love everybody, like I said in the beginning, and that's exactly why. You make people feel good, you make people feel happy, because life, you know, life, their jobs, they, they, they aren't that happy. People aren't saying good job, you know? People aren't doing that. So you give them that positivity, you give them that love, and they're gonna want more of it. They're gonna wanna be around you more. So I always love everybody. That's what I do, and I do really well doing that. So love everybody. All right, everybody. Hey, listen, you get some good ideas? Put this up on the screen, please. Encouragement with no agenda. The secret sauce. If you care enough about that, you're good to go. Seven things to post every day, I, I added more. Family videos, business, lifestyle, gratitude, fun, pictures, infographics, interests, five things. Love everybody, no spam. Get a great profile picture. Pick five things you love, brand yourself. Who are you, what are you about, be vulnerable. And to convert, get on the phone first, as, as fast, as fast as you can, relate to their lives. If I would you, make the invitation. Get face to face, if possible, quickly. As soon as you get face to face, relationships start to really build. Or Skype, Skype, so you can get face to face on Skype, but face to face changes things. Now, how many people in this room have had success sponsoring on Facebook? In the room, look around. How many people have been able to sponsor more than 10 people via Facebook? Please stand up. 